Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, Fitness Management and Consulting, and welcome to our channel today. I appreciate y'all being here. And if you're new to the channel, uh, if you're finding us for that very first time, you know, welcome. It's good to have you. And our topic for you today, it's four key elements of a successful gym. Four key elements of a successful gym. So if you're already in operation, this is going to be some great information for you. Certainly if you're getting started for that very first time, let's help you shorten that learning curve and maximize your opportunity. Now, before we get into our topic here today, just a quick reminder that you know my focus, you know my mission here in the channel is I want to be able to provide as much information as I can, you know, to as many people as I can across the globe. And the best way I can do that is when you choose to subscribe to the channel. So if you've not yet done so, please take a moment, hit that subscribe button. We appreciate it. And then to learn more about me, learn more about my company and how we can help take your business that next level, you know, be sure to check out those links below. And then as a quick reminder for you folks who are looking to open a new gym and you need funding, uh, you're looking to acquire a gym, you need funding, uh, you have an existing operation, you need working capital. You know, we can help provide funding that is unsecured, as there's no restrictions on use. Uh, the, the funding is between $50,000 and $400,000 in funding. Uh, the, um, uh, the basic income uh, to qualify for this program is a $50,000 per year income for the previous two years. And then credit scores, minimum credit scores of 680 or better in uh, Equifax, Experian, TransUnion. You can learn more about that program in the links below under financing and funding and then additional uh, financing opportunities we have for you as well. And so with that said, let's jump into our topic here, four key elements of a successful gym. Okay, and we see these mistakes made. Almost we take them for granted a little bit. We get complacent with them a little bit. And so let's get into these four key elements. Number one on my list is product. Okay, you know, the product you're delivering, how you're delivering it, your processes, your systems, you know, how you do things. Here's the thing you want to know and be very mindful of it be simple to do business with. Be simple to do business with. Okay. Simple as that. Okay. You know, be simple to do business with. Don't make it complicated. If, if it can, if you can get it done in one click, you know, don't try to use two. Okay. Simplify the process. It doesn't mean we're cutting out key components. It doesn't mean we're cutting out key steps. You just want to be easy to do business with. Don't find yourself being difficult. Okay. With the customer, with staff, how we do things. Make it simple. Fast, quick, easy, friendly. Fast, quick, easy, friendly. You know, that's the mantra. That's the age we're in. Okay. Make sure we're doing that. I would suggest going back and doing a review of, of your systems and processes and how you do things and even marketing and websites. Can it be made simpler? Okay. Still effective, but simpler. Number two, it's marketing. This is one that, you know, I see, you know, we get it wrong a lot. You know, the, you know, the number one issue that independent business has, small business has, nobody knows who you are and those that do, they don't have you at top of mind. You know, you've got a market. People need to know who you are. Okay. And even if they knew who you are yesterday, they need to be reminded who you are today. And so you need to get together a marketing plan, a promotional plan that's going to get the word out. I mean, my goal for anyone we work with is we want every single person in your market area to know who you are. Okay. And you can do this. Okay. You can do it cost effectively, but we have to stay on it. Okay. But marketing, people need to know who you are. You can have the absolute nicest facility in the world, but unless we've got people walking in that front door, it's not going to matter. So marketing. Number three, it's money. Money. Okay. I mean, how many folks, when you open your first gym or you're thinking about one now and you don't have the money, so you're going to bootstrap it. Okay. That's going to hurt you in terms of your marketing. It's going to hurt you in terms of your delivery. It's going to hurt you in terms of your price. The message I want to give you is you're always looking. You're always looking for money. Always. You know, you can be at the top of your game. You're still looking. You never know when there might be a hiccup. You never know when something might happen. You know, something could change course. Don't go looking for it when you need it. You know, a lot of times that's the worst time to do it. So always be looking for money. And certainly if you're brand new, if you're looking to start something brand new, you know, get funding. Okay, get funding. We can help you with that, you know, but get funding. Don't find yourself 
you know, trying to bootstrap this and, and cutting corners. Because the reality is you're never going to cut your way into growth. It won't happen. Okay. You know, when we get into turnarounds and we're trying to get things back on track, you know, we'll recommend cuts more so to get control of the business. Once we get control of the business, now it's advanced and to expand, you know, into the marketplace. But money, make sure you've got it. And then number four, of four key elements of a successful gym, people. It's the people. The thing you want to know, your people are your brand. You know, create a culture that protects that brand. Create a culture that allows you to hire and keep the best people in your marketplace. Make sure you've got processes in place for hiring and training and recruiting and, and, and all the great things that people can get by working for you. You know, I always like to look at it as, hey, what's our differentiation in staffing? Why should someone want to go to work for you? What makes you so much better, so much different? But training programs, developmental programs, it's about the people. It's about the people. So product, you want to be simple. You want to be easy to do business with. Marketing. People have to know who you are. You got to have the money. Always be looking. And the people. Make sure we're training and developing the people. Take a look at these. These are four key pillars that can really make a difference in the outcome and the growth of your company. So, folks, again, my name is Jim Thomas. My company is Fitness Management and Consulting. Appreciate you being here at the channel today. Uh, if you've not yet done so, please take a moment. Hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. Uh, again, to learn more about me, learn more about my company, and how we can help take your business that next level, you know, be sure to check out those links below. And then as a quick reminder for you folks looking to open a new gym and you need funding, uh, you're looking to acquire a gym, you need funding, uh, you have an existing gym, you need working capital. You know, we can help with funding. It's unsecured, no restrictions on use, between fifty dollars and $400,000 in funding. Um, credit score of 680 or better in uh, Equifax, Experian, TransUnion, and minimum income of 50000 per year each of the two previous years. You can learn more uh, in the links below under financing and funding on that program and other financing options you know, that we have for you as well. So take a look at that. Uh, again, we appreciate you being here on the channel today, and we look forward to seeing you all in that next video.